Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Fuller, and I'm going to speak to you a little bit about intermittent explosive disorder. So intermittent explosive disorder is a DSM diagnosis, and that's a diagnostic statistical manual. That's the guide used by mental health practitioners to diagnose mental health and behavioral health disorders. IED is something diagnosed when an episode that is seemingly impulsive and aggressive, oftentimes involves property destruction, occurs. And usually it's un unpredictable. The person does not see this coming on in advance and the episodes tend to be very infrequent. Now, while there's aggression taking place, it is not necessary at all, in fact, for anger to be present. And that's oftentimes not assumed to be the case, so I wanna just repeat that. Intermittent explosive disorders does not require anger to be present. It doesn't mean that it isn't present, it could be, and that does happen, but a person experiencing this sort of impulsive, aggressive behavior may, in fact, not experience anger prior to the event. So it's something to look out for. It's something that requires further research. It's fairly infrequent, so prevalence rates aren't exactly clear. Um, what is important, there's some new evidence that some of the inflammatory markers that are related to um, heart outcomes have been found to be higher in people with this diagnosis. That's C-reactive protein and interleukin-6. So it definitely is something that requires more scientific research.